Hey, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're looking at a powered speaker here from Gemini Sound out at GeminiSound.com. This is the AS15P, 15 inch two way cabinet. It has a, what they say is a 2000 watt amplification system inside this to power the 15 and the, uh, the horn. This is not the Bluetooth model, this is just a powered version. It has multiple uh, channel capabilities, so you can run a line in or microphone. I've got two inputs for that, so you can run both of your lines from your board into this, or you could run a board and a microphone. You can run, I'm running an eighth inch jack here from a device into that. Uh, you can go RCAs, or there's an eighth inch jack there. You've got your volumes on that, you've got your uh, two band EQ here, and your master volume, and off you go. A little clip light on the back, back of it. Basically what this speaker is, and it, it uh, retails or maps out for 169. This speaker is for those times where you need to have sound in an area, and quality, you know, if they're not hearing really good quality, it's, it sounds okay. Um, this is for, this is a disposable speaker, truthfully. There's no other way to really look at it. Um, what I do like about it, first, well, the wheels. It has wheels on it. I don't, that's just a, there's no handle. There's no pulled handle on it, so it's not like a suitcase. But down here, you can't really see it. There's a little handle, or, or a knob, I should say. So when I put it on my speaker stand, I can actually tighten it up, snug it up a little bit, so then it doesn't turn. I like that. That's pretty cool in itself. That and the price point is pretty, probably the coolest thing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn this up a little bit, turn the master down, and we're going to play with it. I'm going to give it, give you guys an idea. Actually, I'm going to set the volume. The, the device is wide open. Then I'm going to have the volume set here at 12 o'clock, and then we're going to bring the master volume up and give you guys an idea of what it sounds like a little bit here. And then we'll turn the EQ up and down so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. We're going to be doing a few different speaker tests in this particular room and with this type of a setup so that you guys will be able to hear this compared to other uh, speakers we're going to be looking at in different videos. So let's get our music source going. The West Coast girls are indescribable. So this is device wide open coming in with the RCAs and both main and the channel are at 12 o'clock. Take the main up to three o'clock. So that was up to three o'clock, so I'm going to go back to twelve o'clock. Now we're going to adjust the EQ. The high is all the way down. The high is back to the normal. The low is at normal. Low is wide open. Low is completely out. Now we're going to turn the lows all the way up and turn it up to 3 o'clock. turned the lows back to 12 o'clock so that's why you heard the the bass go out of it so what this basically is in my opinion is that this is kind of a semi-disposable speaker i would something like this i could use in a situation where it's a pool party or something where maybe it's the second one closer to the water or it's used in a situation that if something happens to it i'm not going to be too worried about it and if it works, great, and if it doesn't, it's not my main sound system. I think in those applications, this could, this could fit that bill. Um, for a main sound, I don't know if I would trust it because I can already start to smell just in this little bit. I can start to smell it warming up and heating up. If we look in the back, it does have some, some, um, some, some cooling fins back here. So that's pretty cool that it has that. And it's sealed up, so you're not going to get dust inside it. But... I can smell electronics being on. So I, yeah, we've run it in the office. I ran it for about eight hours one day and I ran it at a pretty good volume, louder than that. 
and it's, it's been working fine. It's just, I don't know how much I would trust a $150 speaker for something more important than kind of a background music noise or a situation like that. So I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check these out. But if you're looking for something fairly inexpensive that is going to give you some sound pressure, this could certainly be an option. If you're looking for something as your main, this I would, I would not recommend it uh, at all for such a thing as that. This is John Young with the Distracting News. Thanks for watching.